Welcome to the sunny Southern California, nestled against the mountains. Just a mile south of historic Route 66, we find California Speedway in Fontana, playing host to over 125,000 race fans and 43 of America's best drivers. Welcome to the Napa Auto Parts 500. After Jimmy Spencer's second straight win in this chase, he is looking to finally draw even with his rival Sterling Marlin. As for Marlin, he needs to be able to counter Jimmy in order to lengthen his lead. So without further ado, let's go trackside. Jimmy Spencer starts first for today's race. This is his third straight pull in a row. Sterling Marlin was going to have to come from deep in 15th position. Alright boys, here we go. 62 freaking laps here at California Speedway. This is going to be a long video, boys. If you can already tell by now, but the uh, graphics have been bumped up a little bit. I am... Uh, Recording this and playing this on PC SX2 emulator. Just give Dale Jarrett a little bumper there. Uh, first lap down, and uh, we already got a pretty solid lead on these guys. I mean, I was, I'm was i still shocked that we were able to get the, a 38, almost a 38 flat, but like a 38.0 is pretty impressive on this game. Maybe it's like the same case as I put for Talladega, maybe I should have put in the default setup and made it a little bit more interesting, but... Heck, I'll take every single advantage I, I can get in this series. Trying to even out Sterling and Marlin in the, in the championship fight. So now, since I'm, like, I'm not playing on the same uh, save file as my PS2 system, um, I did have to, like... try my best and um, configure the settings. Maybe it's because of the paint scheme I got on. I got the, I got the, uh, the Muppet Show uh, paint scheme on this this car and I got Animal uh, with this. So maybe Animal is giving us a little bit uh, a little bit faster car here. Now I did not have high hopes for this uh, race um, just because of how kind of like this, this game races on mile and a half tracks like how can't have to like you know actually race the car or actually you know drive the car uh, rather than just you know just like you know tapping a little bit and then nailing the throttle. You actually have to like you know correct the car or you know keep it from spinning out. Because look, if I'm just gonna hold it straight left, it's gonna the rear end gets loose. So I gotta breathe the throttle and kind of you know let go of the stick every now and again, try and combat the uh, the looseness of the of the nature of this car in this game and that's what I like about this game is that um, it's not it's not easy to drive the car unless if you have assists on which I don't but see look right there just a huge slide so I just like how you have to have to work in this game in some of these tracks especially at Darlington Darlington is a freaking beast to race in this game but California is a really really wide track here so um, if I do ever have to save the car from spinning out, I will have a lot of uh, insurance to uh, to keep me out of the wall. I mean, we're on a different time, you know, different century. I mean, <laughs> we're in a different decade at this point, man. We're in the future, and these guys are in the freaking still in the 1990s. Oh boy, I got loose. Like I said last episode, ain't nothing, nothing better than a good old butt whooping. All right, so it looks like on fuel gauge, as right front starting to go down on tire wear, but fuel gauge we've got 13 laps left on this fuel tank. So I mean, we've seen it past episodes that what the number says on the fuel tank doesn't exactly 
you know, tell the truth. I've been able to stretch the fuel, you know, farther than what is actually, you know, said to to go. So, 13 laps can easily change into like, I don't know, a couple more laps, like maybe 17, maybe 16, I don't know, somewhere around there. But, um, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see in uh, maybe with uh, five laps of fuel left in this tank or somewhere around there, we'll be able to really gauge how far we can go. Oh, these smokes, that got loose right there. I had to actually turn the stick to the right a little bit to, uh, to save it and get out of the gas to make sure I didn't spin out, but that's probably the closest I've gotten to to spinning out. Ooh, first scrape of the day. There it went. Alright, so I've hit about 7.5 on the fuel. Looks like you already got a couple of takers this time by for the uh, pit stop, so should be able to see a couple of guys coming for the next couple of laps for their pit stops. And it looks like we actually are able to um, to stretch this uh, fuel all the way to lap 32, so tires, I mean, could be worse, but um, yeah, we should be able to make this or finish this race on a one-stop strategy here, so I will see you all when uh, pit stops start to begin here very shortly. I just took a peek at the leaderboard and the pause menu and look, guess who's in second, everybody? Take a wild guess. That's right, our arch nemesis, Sterling Marlin. So, I mean, if he plays the fuel strategy right along with us, looks like it'll be a two, hor two horse race to pony show. Oh no! There it went. And no caution. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. I really wish that was a caution, or that would have been that would have been perfect, I guess. Not really, not really would have been perfect. I mean, wouldn't have green flag pit stops, but it's allowed uh, the guys behind me to catch up fairly quickly here. So I gotta. So I start being more uh, conservative with uh, the tires now. Oh yeah, just like that you can hear. I believe that's Sterling Marlin behind us. Oh my goodness, both of our right front, both of our front tires just went red. They're at the center of the of the turn three and four, so I'm gonna have to make a pit stop here pretty soon. I assume. I'm gonna take it to lap 35. I'll try. I will try my best to to make it to lap 35 without either bringing out caution or. Yeah, or being the caution, basically, so. Mark Martin's caught to the back of us. Our car is falling off tremendously. And it looks like he'll try and make the pass for us, on us. And it's three and four right here. I'm going to have to let him go. The car has definitely lost the grip. Definitely lost the handling to this car that it had a couple laps ago, so. Just gonna try to hold on until the pit stop. Let's go, yeah, this car's gotten extremely tight, so. Um, I'm not gonna make any changes on the pit stop, but I'm gonna definitely do my best to try and make this second stint uh, shorter than this one. Um, I think I'm gonna come in this time to try and slow down, come in without speeding 70 miles per hour. Go 70 perfect on the dot. Replace left sides, right tires, repair damage, full tank. Don't change anything, and we'll be on our way. And we got held up by Scott Wimmer. Thanks, Scott. Really appreciate it, buddy. Probably gonna get held up by Kyle Petty. Yep, that's fantastic. But nice smooth pit stop here, boys. There we go. Pull out the fenders a little bit, and we're on our way. Perfect stop by. Boys in red come out 18th. Looks like all these guys are probably going to be able to stretch the fuel. Looks like I guess the leader came by and passed us. Yeah, I'm, I'm the red dot, so probably went a lap down, but we'll get it here. Get it back here in just a second. There's Sterling Marlin coming in for a pit stop. 
Get our lap back instantly, just like that. Yeah. Blow by Jimmy Johnson right here. I mean, just look at the freaking straightaway speed we have. And everyone else, it's unmatched. I knew we have a fast enough car to where we were able to, uh, you know, repair some damage on that pit stop, so. All right, so I'm gonna take the time right now. Since we got cars ahead of us for once, uh, let's go rank it up, probably for the last time in this episode. Alright, so, update, leaders still haven't pitted yet, so, that's, uh, maybe they have, maybe they did an undercut on me, I think that's what they did, I think they pitted before me, unlapped themselves, and then got ahead of me, well, that's a, one hell of a strategy call by them, but, they got a lot older tires than me, I think. So, that's you. Looks like we're catching up on third and second place right here. We'll blow by these guys. Out an issue. And now we set our sights on Mark Martin. So, looks like we're probably going to be able to just drive up through the field and uh, take back what's rightfully ours. And that is the lead. And speaking of which, here we come. Full head of steam. And we blow by. Mark Martin. Alright, here we go. Coming up on a little pack here. About maybe four cars, it looks like. As we come to line, we have ten laps to go in this race. So we got Elliot Sadler right here. I mean, to be honest, I got such a lead right now. I could probably not really try and lap these guys, but I'm going to lap them anyway. <laughs> But I'm not going to force the issue with some of these guys. I'm not going to, you know, try and poke my nose on the inside where there's barely a gap. I mean, I got such a lead, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to um, do a stupid move and give it all up. But just like that, we got past that pack and uh, got nine laps to go here. So, just counting down the laps, waiting for this race to end, man. Well, we hit... Uh, Halfway on gas, and then two front tires gone yellow, but that, quite frankly, does not matter at this point in the race. I mean, betting there's no caution by the AI, I think, uh, I think we got this one wrapped up in the bag. Guys, I might need a, I might need an axe pack after this race, because this car is on fire! I, to be honest, didn't think we would have enough time to win three races, but to win... What was, what was the first race that they won? To win the Brickyard 400, EA Sports 500, and most likely this race, all in a row, shows how freaking, you know, how fast this team is. I mean, like, after the first, like, what, three or four races, after the, no, it was the first two races, after I finished, like, dead last in both of them, I did not think I would have a shot at this championship, but now with two laps left to go in this race, we're going to be tied with Sterling Marlin in the most wins category in this championship. White flag in the air. One lap to go here at California Speedway. Jimmy Spencer has put on an absolute clinic here at California Speedway. Easily the most dominant performance I've seen out of this man. 
in his entire career. Half lap to left to go here at California. He turns three and four. He fought through adversity at the start of the series, and now coming off of turn four for the final time. And the crowd roars! Jimmy Spencer is going to get his third win in a row, and most importantly, tie Sterling Marlin in the championship fight. Let's go! <sighs> Thank you. Thank you to everyone who watched who has watched this series. It means the world to get the support from you guys. And seeing all the comments of all of you guys getting excited for all these videos. I mean, it's just it's so awesome to see you guys getting excited for this championship fight. Most importantly, thank you to all the boys and girls back at the shop for building this amazing race car. Can't forget about my pit crew. Absolute flawless pit stops all day. Unreal. I'm gonna blow this thing up again. There we go, blew it up. That's what an animal would do. Considering we got the animal on the hood today. Oh man, what a freaking domination of a race. I mean, literally led from flag to flag almost for this entire race. I mean, Aside from the pit stops, you know, me going away down to, like, what, 18th, and then coming back up to the field, I mean, Jimmy Spencer just basically led all the laps today. Oh, man, I can't wait for this uh, victory celebration here in a few minutes. Oh, yeah, here we go. Victory lane celebration time once again. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh. I mean, I just, the freaking battle we've had in this series has been unbelievable. I'm pretty sure Sterling Marlin finished third because I took a peek at the, um, the running order there at the towards the end. But I mean, <laughs> after the after Atlanta and Watkins Glen, I did not think we'd have we'd be in this position right here. I think we I I, I felt like we would have gotten close, but. Never to this extent. Holy smokes, man. Sterling Marlins better get his act together here in the next couple of races, wow. man. Oh, unlocked California Speedway at night. Beautiful, beautiful scenes. So, yeah, like I said, Sterling Marlin finishing third. So, it's going to take another win from him to uh, make this championship fight a little bit more more tight, more intense. But, man, I what can, what can I say, man? Unbelievable race unbelievable race all around i mean the the setup in this car and just everything the strategy calls from the pit uh, from the crew chief and the flawless pit stop from the pit crew i mean everything was absolutely pit, uh, perfect that is like the literal definition of the perfect race in nascar and jimmy spencer just proved why he is one of the greatest drivers of all time all right so with that said the next race on the schedule is the mbna america 400 at dover that's going to be an interesting one because dover in this game i think is going to be a pretty tough racetrack to uh to get a hold of but i mean we could probably afford a, a bad race just as long as sterling marlin doesn't win i mean even if he does we'll probably have find a way to to even the playing field and get another win but uh Man, what a race from Jimmy Spencer today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more of this fantastic NASCAR Thunder 2003 Chase with a Cup with Jimmy Spencer. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys for the Dover MBNA America 400 in the next episode. Have a good one.